Hi, Amy Doan here. Today I want to talk to you about a really important topic, the scarcity mindset. A lot of us don't even realize how often the mindset that there isn't enough to go around creeps into the way that we react to things. I want to illustrate this with an example, a story that I have from our farm here. My family lives on a 40 acre farm and we have a lot of farm cats. I love cats. I'm a total cat person and I really thrive living in an environment surrounded by cats. Um, and we love having kittens. Uh, right now all of our cats are fixed but a few years ago we had a very good mother cat named Fluffy. And in one year she had three kittens that grew up to adulthood and we decided that we wanted to keep the kittens. We weren't going to try to sell them or rehome them. We were going to let them stay on the farm because we really had enough space and enough resources. The next year, Fluffy became pregnant and she had another batch of kittens. And this time I think there was four kittens. And one day I went out to the garage where we had set up a little home for Fluffy and she had moved the kittens and so I was kind of a little bit nervous about them and I wasn't really sure what I was going to find. And so I went to a, thought, a place where I thought she might be and I kind of moved this stuff aside and kind of peeked in to see if she was there with her kittens and I jumped back totally shocked. Not only was she there with her new kittens, but she was nursing one of last year's kittens that was about as big as she was. Now we've all seen those nature shows where the mother becomes pregnant and she's getting close to having her new baby and she like really aggressively forces last year's babies away. And I totally thought that Fluffy was going to do that with her kittens. Even though we allowed him to stay on the farm, we thought that they would not be certainly nursing. And here Fluffy was not only embracing the kittens from last year, but allowing them to nurse next to her new babies. And this really blew my mind. And it made me think about how we think that there's not enough to go around. Now this cat knew that she was getting fed every day. She was be being taken care of. She had the food she needed. She had a warm, comfortable space for her babies. And she was able to share that space with last year's babies. But so often we feel like we, there's not enough food or we don't have enough money to do this or we don't have enough time. Everything is about not having enough. And if we were to change our perspective on that and realize that we do have what we need and we do have enough time and we do have enough resources, how would that change the way we react to ourself? How much grace, space, time would we be would we be willing to give ourselves to grow and change? How much space and time and energy would be, we be willing to give to our kids, to our spouses, to our community? And it just made me feel like, are we doing this right? Are we looking at it the right way? I really believe that at this stage in the world growth, we do have enough resources to go around if they were distributed more equitably. But even beyond that, if we were to just look at what we have and acknowledge what we have and be willing to share more, how would that change our perspective? Are we living with a scarcity mindset or are we living with an abundance mindset?